TU100 My Digital Life Sense and Sense Ability The If Else block is also located in the control palette. As you can see, just like the If block, it has a hexagonal recess into which its Boolean condition should be placed. However, unlike the If block, the If Else block has two sets of jaws between which other blocks can be inserted. An If Else block works like this. Sense evaluates the Boolean condition in the hexagonal recess. If the result is true, Sense executes any blocks between the upper jaws of the If Else block. If the result is false, Sense executes any block between the lower jaws. Sense then moves to the next block in the stack if there is one below the lower jaw. In the textual notation for the if else block, it has two sets of curly brackets. Can you see why? The current polygon drawing program deals with an attempt by the user to set the number of sides to less than three by simply drawing triangles. A different way to deal with such user input is to warn the user that their input is invalid and do nothing else. This is the focus of the next exercise, which introduces you to the use of the if-else block. Open project 16 and immediately save it as project 16 underscore SOL. Make sure that pointer is selected. To begin, we will first experiment with replacing the setting sides to 3 with a simple warning to the user in the case where they have made an invalid entry. In that situation, after the warning program, it should simply stop with no drawing being attempted. Now, Sense enables a program to provide a simple warning to the user via a dialog box by using a pop-up warning block provided in the dialog boxes section of the inputs palette. Drag and drop this block into a clear space in the scripting pane. And let's enter a warning message into the input box like this. Drag the block, set sides to 3, currently within the jaws of the if block, away from the script and delete it, leaving the jaws empty. Now drag your pop-up warning block in between the jaws. The beginning of your script should now look like this. Can you predict what will happen when your program runs? Run the program a number of times, entering values for the number of sides that are more than, less than and equal to 3. Did you predict correctly? You should find that your program works fine when the number of sides entered by the user is valid, that is 3 or more. If the user enters a number that's less than 3, then a warning dialog box is displayed as required. However, once the user dismisses the dialog box by clicking on its OK button, the program's execution does not stop. Instead, the program proceeds and the user is asked for the number of polygons. And this is not what's wanted. The problem is that the blocks beneath the if block are executed even if the user has made an invalid entry. Instead, you want them to be executed only if the user's entry is valid. To fix this, you're going to replace the if block with an if else block. Drag your if block and all the blocks underneath it away from the script and place this incomplete stack in a clear space. Drag an if else block from the control palette and position it within the script directly below the first set block in the position previously occupied by the if block. The if else block's boolean condition should be the same as that of the if block because you still want the program to check whether sides is less than 3. Also the block between the if else block's first set of jaws should be the same as the block between the if block's jaws. That is, if the condition is true, then you want the user to be warned of their invalid entry. Now remove the if block from the incomplete stack and delete it. The if else block differs from the if block in that it lets you specify by placing blocks between the lower jaws what should happen if the boolean condition is false. In this case the condition being false means that the user's entry is valid. It is three or more, so all is well. The user should then be asked for the number of polygons and the drawing should be carried out. This means that all the blocks originally below the if block should be repositioned within the lower jaws of the if else block. These blocks currently form the lower incomplete stack. And your script now looks like this. Save your project, run the program a number of times, entering different values for the number of sides. If an 
if else blocks boolean condition evaluates to true any blocks between its upper jaws are executed and in this program if the number of sides entered by the user is less than three that is if the condition sides is less than three is true then the user is issued with a warning if and if else blocks boolean condition evaluates to false any blocks between its lower jaws are executed here if the number of sides entered by the user is three or more if the condition size is less than three is false sense executes the blocks that ask the user for the number of polygons and then carry out the drawing in general if there were blocks in the stack below the lower jaw of the if else block these would then be executed however there are none here so execution stops at this point the completed program for this exercise can be seen as project 16 underscore completed in the next video, we'll look at creating another program that uses an if else block, and we will also start using the sense board. But that's all for now in this video. See you in the next one. Bye for now.